This is my Sig Sauer P238. Recently I went down to the range and I fired this one-handed at a target 75 feet away. And I epically failed. It was a lot of fun, but I learned that very small deviations right at the barrel ended up in really large inaccuracies when it came down to that target 75 feet away. And I did some math so that I could figure out just why that works that way. For those of you who see this and are just like balking, go ahead and just fast forward to those clips at the end of this video. Maybe you'll get a laugh out of it. For those of you who want to suffer through my trigonometry, this is Math and Guns with Professor Des. Here, I'm trying to make a straight line as I'm firing down to my target at the bullseye. But through some sort of error, I we're gonna, for the sake of this of the math, say that I had the angle 0.376 degrees up, and this gave me this trajectory up here. Now, right here at the barrel, the distance seems pretty comparatively small to where it ends up. Now, I've got the math for the barrel. As it turns out, this distance right here, um, using this angle, is 0 0.039 inches, which is only one millimeter. That's pretty negligible, well, it would seem. But that one millimeter difference at the barrel with the very same angle becomes 5.906 inches down at the target, which is 150 millimeters compared to the one millimeter down at the barrel. So you can see why that distance really makes things a lot trickier. And uh, with these clips next, you'll see just how I fared with it. that I shot. If you want to get notified when I release a new video, subscribe.